Well, England against Wales. A pot that needs no further ingredient, but for those still wiping a tear from the corner of their eyes following the tribute to a former England captain. I agree with that, James. I, I, I understand there's a late, but that can come into the process yeah. later. The fact well, that England right now are going to be reduced to 14 men. Okay. So the player is upright. Five. He, can, he can be lower into that tackle. It's, it's, it's head contact and it reaches yellow card threshold. The week of the death of the great Barry John. The catch from Wainwright. Here's the drive. It's heading towards that England try line. It's a penalty advantage. And James Dolman has gone straight between the posts. It's going to be a second yellow card as well. Shades of August, remember that. England went down to 12 at one point in that match. So the young Northampton Saint earning his fifth cap for England. Plays an unfamiliar role. The pick up from Ben Earl. Earl will try to go himself, look at the power, and the outstretched arm, and Ben Earl, with just 13 men on the pitch. It's a brilliance there from Ben Earl, after a difficult year last year, he's had his injuries, he's come back fitter and stronger than ever. England camp all week, we're talking about how much they want to entertain this crowd. They want the fans on their feet celebrating, but for the first 15 minutes, that was looking a little shaky. But to be two men down and to come away with a try like that, that shows real heart, that shows real character. Like it does leave the opportunity for gaps. We saw Italy exploit that last week. Rafael with the offload, and now it's a two-on-one. And Alex Mann, for the second straight week, gets a try. Sometimes defenders can get lazy on the inside. Came from Tommy Revel, cutting that short line, giving a good quick platform. And look at the options there around the ball carrier. The sacrificial lamb takes the first hit, but there's options left and right. And Alex Mann, what an introduction he's having to the Six Nations. Brilliant offloading play. Thomas Williams on the shoulder, and then Alex Mann with the support play. Wasn't really looking for touch, more for distance. Counter here for Freddie Stewart, who loses his footing. Nine, you have a bonus for in front of the kicker. A player on your own team, you are offside. You have to be behind the ball. A crucial time in the match, surely this. There's Ford, Ford out to Daly. Daly to Dingwall, and England have their try. Hit past that Welsh defence, but then the calm composure of George Ford to see the space out wide. Danny Kerr, Ford, oh, oh and it's gone loose. Well, Mason Grady tried to pick it up, but it's a penalty to England. So it's a penalty and yellow well, Jamie card. Jamie George was even angling at a possible penalty try, I think. Yeah, absolutely, and the reason that it's not is because, as the referee explained, there were other Welsh bodies that would have been able to come round and cover a potential try. Wales must now come back. They go short to Coles. It's there with Theo Dan. Danny Kerr will chip it into touch. The referee blows his whistle for the end of the match. And England have got themselves out of a very tight spot. A smile from Steve Borthwick.